So, this is the next video in uh, using Greengrass as an IT device. Um, so, in the first, in the last video, we uh, configured the Raspberry Pi to uh, have the Greengrass uh, engine installed on it, uh, and we configured uh, the. Uh, see here. So, if we go into the IT core, we also then um, got the first group which I call the non IT group, and you also got the first core, IT core in this case. So when you install the Greengrass, you uh, use the tutorial, you could add the names, and you got these into the IoT core uh, part here, so the actual group and the actual core. But we don't have any lambdas, and we don't, uh, it actually doesn't do anything, uh, unless you create, what we created a lambda, then you will have one. You can remove that. If you have that and remove it, then don't forget to also remove the subscription, otherwise you'll get an error. Um, but now we actually want to create a, a, a lambda from scratch and deploy it, so we know how that works, so we see that everything kind of, kind of works. So, to do that, we, um, we, uh, need to write some code. I actually have um, the code examples here. I will add the link below so you can just you know download this zip and zip it somewhere uh, and then you will get a code structure looking something like this. Uh, so we will go into um, just hello world and the example uh, function right here. Uh, so this is one we will use in this, in this um, video. And for also for this to work, we also need to download the Greengrass SDK on uh, this link. You need to get the Python SDK. Uh, so um, when you have downloaded that, you, we would need to copy this into this project because we, when we create the zip file later on, we need to have both the code and the actual Greengrass SDK. So if we I have two SDKs here, the JavaScript and the Python. So if I go to the Python SDK here, I take this Greengrass SDK and copy that into this project copy folder. So now I have the Greengrass SDK uh, together with the, um, the function here in this um, in this folder. Uh, so now we we can go through the actual code uh, in this example. The the only thing this code will do is uh, post a message. So the agenda here is to create this lambda, or go through the code in it. This will post a text message on the topic hello world every five seconds. We will now then deploy this lambda to AVS. We will need to configure AVS IT to use this lambda, and also configure AVS IT to allow this lambda to post on the MQTT topic hello world to IoT cloud. Otherwise, the lambda will post, but we will not get, it, get anything to, to the cloud because it, has, it is not allowed to, to do that. Then we will deploy this lambda and uh, uh, the allowance of, of posting to the Greengrass device and eventually verify that the messages are received in IoT Cloud. So that's what we're going to do here now. So the code um, is very simple. You just import the things that you need, the Greengrass SDK and some other libraries. Um, and we first here we we initiate the logging. Um, you don't need to have logging, but if you want to have logging to see what's happening in the in the um, in the logs, uh, so we initiate that, and then we create the Greengrass uh, client using the Greengrass SDK we, we just added here. So here we have the client then, which will be used to post messages to the MQTT server. Um, then. Uh, I want to have the name of the device, so uh, so I can have that in the string later on. And to ABS uh, Greengrass automatically uh, creates an environment variable called ABS IT thing name. So if you uh, that's why you import the OS here. So if you take OS dot environment and the string, you will get the device name uh, here, and, and um, that will actually be then the name of this core, IoT core one in my example here. So, then we have the actual code. Uh, first we define the function that will be run every five seconds. So we first uh, log something, then we create the text that we actually want to send. Hello IoT world, same from Greengrass core, from this device name. And then we use the Greengrass SDK client to publish to the MQTT server on this topic, hello world. 
and the text we defined here is the thing that will be set. And uh, we end this function by uh, using the timer to call the function again in 5 seconds. So each time it's run, it will uh, create a timer which will run the function again in 5 seconds. So then we have defined the actual function itself. Now we need to start it for the first time. So that's what we do here. We start the actual function so it can be run and then you know, run again every 5 seconds. In, eventually we also need to create a lambda handler because when it's a lambda there must be a handler function in the class so it, this one actually doesn't do anything because yeah, we don't actually trigger any event here but it needs to be there anyway so that's why we, we need to add it. When we have created the uh, this code uh, we need to create a zip file containing the function and the green grass SDK. Uh, I've just created a simple bat file here just to, to do that. So this, this bat file actually creates the zips at the function, this one, and the SDK is that one. So if I run this, as you see, now I have a, a, a lambda function containing this function and the SDK. So um, now I actually want to create the lambda. And I can do it from here or from the Lambda console, it doesn't really matter. But I'll add a new Lambda here, and I will actually give it um, the same name here, just for the fun of it. Uh, so we'll call it this. Then I need to select runtime, and here I need to select Python 3.7, because that's what we're using. Uh, that's what the, the Greengrass at this specific moment. It might be something different when you see this video, of course. So we create the function. So when the function has been created, uh, it's, it has just a dummy code, so now we actually need to upload the code that we have created this uh, zip file for. So we go there uh, and upload this zip file we just created. So now if we look at the code, this is the actual code that we just went through. So for this to work in uh, ABS IoT, we need to publish a new version, I will just call it version 1, and we also need to create an alias. So I'll just call, call it version 1 as well for the same uh, for this version. Both things these need are needed for for uh, for the IoT parts to work. So now we have created the actual uh, lambda. And then we need to can go over back and say we are using the, an existing lambda then. And, uh, uh, sorry, and, oh, here we go, example. So here we have the lambda we just created. So we select that one and we select the alias, not the version, the alias uh, for this one. So, so now we have created the Lambda function, but now we also need to create the subscription so that uh, this Lambda function will be allowed to post on uh, Hello World and that that will be sent to the IoT cloud. So we add a new subscription, we select the Lambda that we just did, and we say that we want to post this to the cloud. And then we say that it's allowed to post on topic Hello World. So I will finish this. So now we have also created both the Lambda and the subscription. But we need to go back to the Lambda just one thing more because when we created the Lambda it was just created as a normal Lambda uh, but we actually wanted it to this function to be long-lived because we wanted to send a message every five seconds, right? And we also increased the timeout uh, a little bit so allow it a bit more time. So now we have made it long lived, long lived, so it can run forever, and we need to just update it. Otherwise, this won't work. Uh, or it will just post one message and then uh, uh, not work anymore. So now we have created Lambda, we have made it long uh, uh, lasting, and we have created a subscription. Now we need to deploy it. So now we actually send this Lambda function and the writes to the actual Greengrass device. Uh, to be run on uh, that device. So it takes some time, so now it's in progress. Yeah. 
So now we have deployed it successfully. So now we go back to the IoT core here and go into test. And we go here. We want to listen to the hello world. Knowledge method, display the string, and we subscribe to this topic. And here we go. Hello, IT world sent from Green Grass Core from IoT Core 1. So now we'll get one message here every five seconds. Just as we defined. So now we have a um, functional Lambda on the Green Grass device.